All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, all my subscribers, anyone on YouTube. I always going to start out this way. I believe, yes, I am recording. <laughs> so um, I wanted to come on today and um, share a dream that I had back in February. Uh, I actually had to go look back um, and figure out uh, when I had this dream. So I've actually been sitting on it for a while and I wasn't sure um, if the Lord wanted me to share this or not. And <clears throat> this is the one where this isn't very easy uh, to share. And um, it's not one that I really want to talk about. It was very, very disturbing. And um, there's a reason why you're looking at a football field right now, by the way, I'll get to that. That's actually part of my dream. Um, and uh, actually I'll, I'll just, I'll get started with it. I um, was actually standing off in the distance, was even further away than how this picture was taken um, from this football field. But um, in my dream, I almost had um, like, I could, I could, I could zoom in on something. And so I was um, kind of standing far away and I uh, had, um, I believe it was Jesus was standing next to me. If it wasn't Jesus, I mean, maybe it was an angel, but I'm, I think it was Jesus. And he let me zoom in on this football stadium. And there was a big concert um, that was happening and it was full, just like you see here, really full. Lots and lots of people were there, big concert. Um, it actually reminded me of a, like a heavy metal rock band concert is the best I can explain it. So there was this big concert going on. And um, on stage, this, this was kind of the disturbing part. <clears throat> um, well, before I get to the on stage, you know, people were cheering. They were excited. Um, everybody was in a very good mood. And, um, and it was nighttime, as you would typically go to a concert um, at night. And anyway, um, I could see the um, person coming on. And they were, um, they started chanting this chant. Um, and it was, it was not in a language that I I'm familiar with or that I understood. And I actually remember trying to repeat what they were saying. And um, Jesus turned to me and said, do not repeat those words. So I immediately stopped and I was just there to observe and to watch what was taking place. But so they started chanting, um, very methodical chant at this quote unquote concert. And um, it was in a different language that I didn't understand. But the thing that was disturbing, what I saw on stage, um, I thought I was watching a horror movie. They um, had people um, being hung by their skin on stage. And there was multiple people um, and it was very grotesque and I, I didn't really want to look at it. I didn't see it for very long, um, but it definitely reminded me of a horror film. And at the time in my dream, I thought, gosh, why would these people be hurting their own? But then again, if um, you're in line with the devil, the devil doesn't care. Someone pointed that out to me when I told him about this dream. Um, but then the Lord, um, shared with me later um, that those were not the devil's people. Uh, those were the other people, like um, people who wouldn't receive the mark, people who wouldn't accept Satan as their Lord. And that's who was there. And that was hard to see. And so, um, that's the disturbing vision that I received. But here's the good news is that in the same vision, I saw the whole stadium. Um, it's almost like God took his hand and he just crushed it <laughs> like this. And um, literally it, it crumbled up into a ball and it's almost like he took it and he just tossed it to the side. And um, so that was, that was like kind of the good part of, 
of the vision or the dream is that uh, he'll destroy um, the things that, that the devil is going to use to, I think, um, basically worship him. Um, and that's kind of what this concert reminded me of it. It reminded me of a big worship service um, at a big stadium. And I, um, I also added the link of, this is actually the Notre Dame Stadium. Um, I just, I always want to give credit where credit's due. I did take this off of their website. So I um, obviously didn't take this picture, but I do want to read, um, this is actually from, I didn't put it in here. This is from Joel. Um, the prophet Joel wrote this. It's from Joel. Let me get my Bible. Mm. Two, and this is uh, 12 and 13. Um, this is the verse that uh, the good Lord wanted me to share. And it um, says, even now declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord, your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love. And he relents from sending calamity. And so... Um, I don't know, I, I believe he wanted me to <clears throat> share this, um, to send this to somebody. I, don't, I think somebody might need to hear this. Come back to Jesus. Um, if you're a backslider, if, you, um, if you've turned away from God, if, um, if you think that maybe he's not the way, the truth, and the life, um, I, don't, I don't want anybody to be left behind. And, and I'm not saying that um, everyone will go through what, what I saw, but somebody's going to, and that's what's horrific. And you don't wanna be left behind. It's not gonna be pretty. If you read through Revelation, the things that are gonna come upon the earth, um, it's not good. I mean, if, if you read even about the, the locust um, that are the size of a horse, and can torment you. Um, I don't really want to be here for that. <laughs> so, and I, I don't think I'm going to be, but I don't want, I don't want anybody to be here. And I know that's not, that's not going to happen. That's not going to, um, you know, that's, that's not ideal. Sorry, I stopped sharing that. We're not going to, um, not everybody's going to come uh, up into the rapture. And, and I know that. Um, I would love that. Um, I think, I think Jesus would love everybody to make it to heaven. Um, but we know that that's not the case. And so anyway, um, if you're still sitting on the fence, if you're, um, not sure, um, I don't know what else to, to say or to do. I mean, I turned against God. Um, it was in my testimony. Um, I blamed him for my parents' divorce. I blamed him for a lot of things. And so, um, it's never too late for, with every breath that you have is, um, is, is a chance to return back to him. Uh, with every new day uh, that we're still here is a chance that somebody gets to come to Christ. And um, as much as I want to go home and, and be with Jesus, I always thank him for every day because that's another day that I get to do a video or I get to um, pour out uh, the Holy Spirit on other people, um, whether it's kindness or just being compassionate to others or just sharing um, Jesus with somebody else. And so, um, or I get to pray um, more, even though we might be praying in heaven, but that means I get to pray again for, um, for another lost soul. And so um, every day is a gift. And so um, let's use our, our days wisely. And, and I'm guilty of not using them wisely. So I, I don't do it perfect. It's not about perfection. Um, I am the least perfect person in the world. Um, but you know what, I, I try and that's, um, that's all I can do. And so uh, anyway, um, if you've watched this in thing in the entirety, if you're in need of a Bible, um, I would love to get a Bible out to you. Uh, please email me at childofgodrose at yahoo.com. Send me an email. Um, I would love to get a Bible in your hands. I think physical Bibles are very, very important to have. Um, for all of my subscribers, I hope everyone is um, reading into your word, you're praying, you're abiding, you're following the Lord, uh, you're talking to him um, on a regular basis. Um, I can't imagine doing life without uh, 
uh, doing that stuff. And I always want to do a little shout out to uh, Aaron at God a Minute. Um, I know I don't have a big following, but I always tell people about it. And actually, I do have my cup. I did not get the end of the world cup. I actually really like this design. So I bought this one and I drink at it all the time. So it's good stuff. End of the world coffee, right? I don't throw that in there. Um, anyway, uh, Jesus is coming, you guys. Um, I truly believe that. Um, why else would he be having all these people with uh, dreams and visions and there's tons of rapture dreams out there still. I still I keep coming across them. I don't really watch them as much anymore, but there's still a lot out there. Um, I know that there are many people who are also getting uh, tribulation dreams. Um, that's what I would consider this as a tribulation dream. So um, again, you just don't want to be here. Hope this blesses you. Um, I'm still praying for all of you and uh, just keep it up. Keep trying. I mean, that's the best that God wants from us is that we just keep trying, waiting, watching, keep those lamps lit, uh, keep extra oil. Um, you don't want to be caught um, being a foolish virgin uh, with, with not the extra oil. And then you'd have to go buy some. And so we, we buy it from our father in heaven. And so spend time with him. Anyway, God bless Maranatha. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the clouds or if God willing, I'll make another video. <laughs>